Embattled New York Mayor Eric Adams tells its citizens, illegals are here whether you like it or not. Now, if you got a problem with that, I don't give two fucks. Wow. I'm Jazz Braganzo, and this is What's Next. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I am your humble host, Jazz Braganzo. And this is another episode of What's Next. But regarding the illegals, you have a number of states who have clamped down on them. You know, Florida, Macho Man Ron DeSantis, and of course Texas is trying to do their best under Greg Abbott. But you have New York City. You have New York. And of course New York has been a democratic fascist socialist threshold for the better part of, I don't know, how many years now. Its current mayor, Eric Adams, has told New York City that illegals are here in every aspect and there's not a damn thing that you can do about it. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breibart. New York Democrat Eric Adams. Get on board with illegal immigration, influx in schools, hospitals, neighborhoods basically going telling you you new york city new york mayor eric adams says new yorkers must be on board with having their schools hospitals neighborhoods burdened by an influx and he said burdened of illegal immigration to the region as a result of joe dementia's policies during a press conference this week adams warned the city's nearly 8.4 million residents man eh, more like 10 who remain some of the most tax burdened people in the u.s to be prepared to have their schools, hospitals, roads, neighborhoods inundated with border crossers, illegal aliens who are arriving by the tens of thousands every month. They're being bussed in intentionally just to prove a point. Number one, this is an opportunity for New Yorkers to move away from not in my backyard. We must all share the crisis, Adam said. Our approach has been uh, to divide up the homeless issue even prior to the asylum seekers by councilmatic districts. Again, political jibber jabber. Now, with the influx of people seeking asylum and support, we uh, now we have to go on beyond that. Adams continued. We're looking at the potential for emergency shelters in hotels and other facilities. If there was ever an all hands on deck moment. This is it. Our system is inundated with those who are seeking shelter because of the callousness of those other states that were pushing these out. Yes, other states who don't want the illegal nonsense in their states. Yeah. That's callousness. Okay. Adams warned that everyone, uh, everyone's neighborhood in New York City will be burdened by the waves of border crossers and illegal aliens being crossed, uh, being released every day into the U.S. interior. New Yorkers said, uh, New Yorkers must accept that reality. Quote, we're here. We're receiving them and everyone's going to have to be on board. And we can't have historical, I can't believe people should be housed, but don't house them on my block. Attitude. Everyone's. Uh, block is going to be impacted by this. So we have to add our advocacy with our ability to help our neighbors. We need everybody on board with this. Emphatically said. As I said last week, our schools are going to be impacted by our health care system. I'm sorry, our health care system is going to be impacted as well. Our infrastructure is going to be impacted as well. We're going to need all New Yorkers to be on board with this. Because if not, democracy dies. Already, New Yorkers must deal with the nation's highest population densities for a major American city. The city houses nearly 30,000 residents per square mile. The density has translated to a lack of public resources for residents. Gee, I wonder why. Just last year, parents in New York City protested as their public schools became overcrowded with class sizes exceeding 30 school children per teacher. At the same time, the city's sanctuary city policy shields illegal aliens from being arrested and deported. The hell? Along with other incentives for jobs, uh, lax immigration enforcement, and one of the highest illegal alien populations has helped skyrocket rents uh, for New Yorkers as more competition in the housing market drives up costs. Um, let's see. From February 21st to May 22nd alone, dementia has released over 1 million illegals into the U.S. interior. That's about twice the population of Wyoming and larger than the population of Austin, Texas. Likewise, like Biden took office, his Department of Homeland Security, which has become a fucking clown show, estimates that nearly 820,000 illegal aliens have successfully crossed in the U.S. and somehow magically disappeared. We can't find them. 
But um, let's hear from the mayor himself. Hi, Mr. Mayor. How are you? Um, Good. Good. Um, you talked a lot last week about the increased population coming into the homeless shelter system. Um, what is the excess capacity like in that system? And can you talk about, like, what, what are you doing to add beds and how many additional beds are needed? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Number one, um, this is an opportunity uh, for New Yorkers to move away Defensive from the kicks in. backyard. Uh, we all must share the crisis. I'm not going to go on. This goes on for about 30 minutes. My thoughts. The fact of the matter is, is that he calls it a crisis. At least he admits to the fact that there is a crisis. When we have had almost 50 million illegals flood the U.S. since November of 86, when Reagan passed the amnesty bill. And of course, he later regrets it in his memoirs as one of the biggest mistakes of his political career. You've had media, politicians, and uh, anyone who's gone woke stuck on 11 million illegals for the better part, I don't know, of what, two decades now. Sorry, no, numbers don't lie. But when you have a sitting mayor who doesn't know what to do, he doesn't. You can clearly tell he doesn't want to do because automatically he defense, He went into defensive laugh mode seconds after the question was asked regarding it. Basically telling the citizens of New York, well, yeah, you better suck it up, buttercup. Telling the council, New York City Council, your districts better suck it up. Now to me, if I'm one of those council men or women, I would have told the mayor to go himself. I would have said, not my, not my district. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen in my district. And the thing is, is that he puts the blame on states that won't take them. And rightly so. Florida has kicked them out. Florida has bust illegals out of his state to New York City, uh, to other neighboring states that are, you know, sanctuary compliant, like Maryland, like Connecticut, like Rhode Island, like Maine, like Massachusetts, like New York. So you get what you deserve, Adams. You're getting it all. And the fact of the matter is for you to slam the citizens of your country, of your country, excuse me, of your state, of your city, excuse me, and say, well, you know what, uh, not a damn thing I can do about it. So, uh, you know, kick rocks and pound sand. Who cares? I don't care what you think. That's basically what he's telling you. I don't care. I don't give two fucks what you think, citizens of New York City. If you guys don't do shit. You get what you pay for. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bargonzo. This is What's Next. If you want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.